day viewers welcome to our first concept tv the news headline edo rally reactions as photo of peter obi petting a woman that was crying surfaces online hmm they started again they just want us to back down from peter obi's case but they can only try yeah they can only try they won't succeed so let's go into the details of the news. A photo that has been generating lots of comments online has captured the moment the Labour Party presidential aspirant, Peter Gregory Obi, was seen petting a young woman who was crying. The picture after it surfaced online has got many people talking. The picture was captured at the Labour Party rally in Benin City, Edo State. It is no news again that the Labour Party presidential aspirant was at the Labour Party rally in Edo State on Monday. The rally was attended by a large number of people. The photo of the Labour Party presidential aspirant petting the crying woman has now surfaced online. See the picture here. After the photo was shared online, many people are taken to, their, to the comment section to drop their thoughts and what they think about the picture. These are a few out of the comments that have been shared online. At Chooks, Aries says, it's about hope, it's about future. Tammy Presh says, why was she crying? Chooks, Aries now says, my president. While um, Presh says, wow. Then another comment from Na by K02 says, man with a heart of genuine love. You see that people, plenty of people, they really love Peter Obi. Like so many people has so many people loves him genuinely. Like genuinely. So when they even see him, you know their emotions just run all around and they don't even know when they start crying. Others would literally off the shirt they wear for Peter Obi to work on. Like that's because they, they see that okay, this man is capable for the job. Like, this is the only person that can give them the hope that they need and deserve. So, I'm um, going through our, our comment section. We have so many comments. Ogun's Femi says, Why would she cry when Mr. Emiloko has taken away the hope of the common man on the streets? <laughs> I don't laugh, Taya. Honestly, that daylight robbery deserves our tears, but... But all hope is not lost. You see, when Emiloko, um, our president, you know, aka Emiloko, when he was doing his campaign, he was saying it too, that it will bring hope, it will bring this, it will bring that. We did not know that our definition of hope, our definition of um, a love for Kombale, because he said we should rest, we should keep calm. That his tenor is going to be wonderful. We did not know he was talking about the negative aspect too. Hey, this past few months has has been has been wonderful. Like it has really been wonderful because we've been seeing different things. Like you will sleep like this and wake up, bag of rice from thirty five k that got it to thirty eight before you know forty forty two ah. And they've not increased the quantity. It's still the same. So, another comment from King Ko says, This bicycle lady, she really tried. She campaigned free of charge. That is the true spirit. Forget even the opposition knows the real deal. Which is true. Like this woman, she went all out during the campaign. You know when you love someone genuinely, you don't even think about the monetary aspect. You just go all out. You know, you just go all out. So that was what this woman did. She campaigned with the all of her heart. Like she made sure that people that does not even know Peter Obi, she advertised Peter Obi to them and said they should vote for him. You know, she did a whole lot of things. So now imagine after everything, it's now boils down to I neck chairman giving us what we did not deserve. It's not ended up being what I ordered versus what I got. Ha! Nigeria is our country. It is well. Low. So moving on to another comment. 
Yeah, me see a big bar, me says this is the type of president we want, not an authoritarian. I swear, like we want someone that will listen to us, somebody that when we have an idea we can share, and he is going to okay, even he is going to reason with us that like, okay, this is the path that we are going to use. And instead of doing this thing that you are saying, we are going to do this. This one will be favorable. You know, someone that will reason with us, not the person that would just step and wake up and say, I'm going to be the Minister of Petroleum. And that is it. Now. You know, we need someone that would take our advice, someone that would listen to our opinions, someone that would care for us, that whatever decision he makes, he puts the heart of people. He puts... People like he puts himself in individuals out there, citizens out there. He puts himself in their position. Like, will they still favor them? Like, will they still survive with this? Because out there, there are still people that earn twenty thousand monthly. How do they survive? How do they eat? You know, with this someone that has a humane heart. So moving on, Nigerians have suffered and are deserved. I deserve more this time around. Of course, we deserve more. We deserve true happiness. We deserve we deserve good news all day, all year. Like we deserve the good things of life. We have gone through a lot over the years, over the decades, in the house of APC. Empty promises here and there. Even the last president that we thought, okay, he was going to renew us, or the last president after Good Lord Jonathan, see how we were jubilating, if only we knew that Good Lord Jonathan's tenor was okay. Since APC entered like this, they're not going to come out again, though. They even had to do bago bago. Ah. So, um, as Zaku says, whoever supports this evil party, called APC with the kind of pain that people are going through. May God punish him. Ah uh-uh. ah. Uh-uh. Ah ah. Okay, so these courses are too much. Uh, in as much as we do not support APC and their decisions, we will not wish them evil. We just want them to back out. Like, let them relax. Let them rest. We don't want them again. Like, let the people who are ready for the job, let them go in. Let them go in. So, we will know what we are doing. Asuji Okudili says, We need a leader with a large golden heart like Peter Obi. Carry go person, do it the waiting. We day your back. What a man. We love you, sir. You see that the love is genuine. It's everywhere. Everywhere. Be it the northern part, southern part, eastern part. Western path, like the woman Peter Obi arrives, he is well known for good. He is always welcoming wherever he is. And I'm sure all that presidential candidates, I'm not sure they can even show their faces in some places as are now where everybody they vex. Not everybody can show their faces in some places. So, Peter Obi is truly a man for the people, and we hope. That the judiciary do right by proclaiming the original winner this time around. Please share your thoughts in our comment section and do not forget to 